Hello and welcome again. In this video, I am going to explain how we can easily create holidays, uh, official holidays on our calendar template. So I'm going to use the examples of the official US holidays, but the concept applies to any such day that you want to highlight on the calendar. So let's get started. So now I have the template open and we're going to get started by entering an event type. An event type is important because this is the one that is going to help us color the events on the calendar. So I'm going to call this as official holidays and I am going to assign a color and let's say for example I assign purple. And now I go to the events sheet to start creating our holidays. And so the first thing is going to be the New Year's Day. And that is very straightforward because it is um, just a, uh, the specific date itself. And so I can type in 112016 and then the frequency type is one time. And now when I go and take a look at our calendar, it'll list that. And when I go and take a look at our events list and let me just show instances and now I can see the first January is the New Year's Day. So now the next one is Martin Luther Luther King Jr. Day and for this one let, let's say for example uh, again choose the event type so, so that we use the same color uh, and then the event start date. So this is going to be the third Monday in January so that's how the day is shown every year and so now I'm going to type in the January 1st as the start date and then January 31st as the end date and now I'm going to choose the frequency type as nth weekday of the month and I'm going to put one in the Monday column and I'm going to say n equals three so what has happened now is it is the third Monday between 1st Jan and then 31st January of 2016. So when I go and look at our calendar, now I see that 18th of January is MLK Junior Day and it's colored in purple. So that's how the template works. It makes it so easy to calculate those dates. The next one I'm going to use is the Memorial Day and Memorial Day is going to be um, the last Monday in May. So I'm going to type in May 1st, 2016 and then May 31st. 2016 and then I will now choose the frequency type to be the last weekday of the month and that will be this so last Monday of May should now be selected and that's May 30th and it's the Memorial Day so that's great now the next type of event is going to be the Independence Day and it is going to be similar to the New Year's Day. It's going to be a straight up day specifically. So I can just say July 4th and then this will be the one time frequency type. That's great. So now we have this entered. Now the next one is Labor Day and Labor Day will be the first Monday in September. So I'm going to first choose official holidays. It's September. So I'm going to type in September 1st and then September 30th. And then now this one is going to be again nth weekday of the month, but the it is the first Monday. So Monday equals one. N equals one this time because it's the first Monday. And now when I go and look at the calendar, I get that 5th September is the Labor Day and September is highlighted in purple. So that's um, how easy it is. So the next day I'm going to use is the Veterans Day. And this is all this also happens to be the 11th of November straight up. And so this is easier to enter November 11th and it's a one time. Now the next one will be the Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving will be the fourth Thursday in November. So let's say we enter November 1st as the start date and then end of November will be the end date and then it'll be the the fourth Thursday so nth weekday and then we're going to choose Thursday as the day and then it'll be the fourth Thursday so n equals four and now when I go here Thanksgiving is 24th of November 2016 and it'll also be listed as such then we have Christmas and Christmas Day will be one specific day, 1225. 
and we will call that as one time event. And so now there we have it. So we have created these specific holidays for the United States. And similarly, you can create for other days in other countries as well. Wherever you can uh, use the logic to calculate the dates or it's a specific date itself, then it's very, very easy. You create a one time event. So now this is great, but then we had entered the dates for 2016. So let's say we come back a year from now and you say you want to create all of this again for 2017. So now let's see how we can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is to select all these dates and then I'm going to do control F, which is find and replace. And I am going to find 2016 and then replace that with 2017, hit replace all. And now we have replaced all the 2016s with 2017. And now the last step here is to go to the home sheet and change the calendar year for 2017. Come over to the calendar, any of the calendar designs. There you have it. All the dates have changed. MLK Junior Day now is 16th of January. 29th of May is Memorial Day. 23rd of November is Thanksgiving this time. So all of these automatically got updated and it saved you a lot of time in data entry. So this is how you can create holidays like this for one year and then rebuild your calendar every year from now on very very easily and you can print these calendar designs or you can export them to pdf and share so all of these um, calendars will work for any year after 1900 so if you have any questions about this template or if you have any questions about um, the features that we talked about in this template this in this video please leave them in the comments and i'll be very very happy to respond thank you very much for watching the video